Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. Here we go. Now Simmons. Pass to Yao. The three. And he buries his first look. If there's a teammate open on the floor, Simmons will put it on time and on target. Guys, it seems to me that what's gotten lost in all the criticism of Ben Simmons shooting is the fact that this guy is still very special at the things he is very capable of doing. McGrady shot is off. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Here's McGrady. And there's the drive. And he goes in for the dunk. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Now here's Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Fall. Second chance shot. And the dunk by Isaac. Can we remember this guy is six foot ten, so if he's in position, turn the lights out. Well, Simmons has taken a ton of heat recently. He really has, B.A., but it seems to me he's ready to prove his doubters wrong. Maybe he uses all that criticism as motivation to finally improve his shooting, because absolutely on the defensive end, this guy is a terror. And in transition, he puts a ton of pressure on you. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Pass to Matumbo. Here's McGrady. Down low. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Brady. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Ball no good. And here comes Cleveland. It's a five-point game. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Now here's Jordan. To the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Beyond the arc. Yao shot is off. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Matumbo. And he buries his first look. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. 
And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Yao. He has six. Here's McGrady. Off target with the three. Well, Los Angeles with it. Trailing by four. Inside. Here's Fall. And he jams it home with authority. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. That puts him in the lead. Jordan's got six. Grant, they could attempt a two-for-one here. They could. The key here is a good look. That one from long range. At 6'11", with strong instincts and an excellent handle, sometimes setting your teammates up is easy, Ben Simmons. Here's Paul. A tumble with a rebound. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's McGrady. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Give him eight. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Bowl. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. And so it's Cleveland closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted air. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Cleveland? Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. And you love to see the aggressiveness, using the height advantage to hammer it home. Here's Garnett. Nails it from three. Well, what a delivery. The catch and shoot for Garnett. Perfect. Knocked away. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Here's Hardaway. Pass to Garnett. Fires for three. Rebounded by Butler. Now Los Angeles with it. Nine point game. Oh, didn't think that was going in. And just a beautiful looking shot from long range. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And here's Smith. Pass to Smith. And he parries his first look. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Checking in for the away team. So it's the home team now. Trailing by eight. Pass to Chandler. And that one is stopped right through. Transition for Chandler. He comes into the league as a quick, skinny guy. Now plays with power. To the inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's Ferry. Back to Simmons. Pass to Garnett. From behind the arc. Connects from downtown. He's got six. Impressive offensive versatility for big. He can show you a variety of looks. All right, time for an injury report. 
guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Cleveland. And it's just a simple case of getting the wind knocked out of him. He just needs a moment to get the air back in his car. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Greg. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injury that can be so hard to handle. There's no question because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. He <laughs> throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. The three is up. It's intercepted. On the break. Second shot opportunity. Out to the right wing. Pass to Butler. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes play. Oh! <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Back to Simmons. Clock at six. Up again. It's good. On the putback. Give him eight points now. Well, there's a reason this is the four-time NBA rebounding champion. KG to the offensive glass. Fifty-five seconds left to play in the first half. To the paint. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Pass to Bailey. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Knew exactly where his teammate would be. That's a product of good chemistry. Smith left side. Here's Smith. Drains the triple. And Cleveland leads by five. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Garnett. No, sir. He's now three for five in this one. To the right wing. Back to Butler. Up and over Smith. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Team. On defense, the visiting team. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Timeout, visitors.
teams deciding to change it up. And here comes Cleveland. Three-point lead. Pass to McGrady. They set the pick. Back to Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. This close to the rim, Ben Simmons just leaves, no doubt. From deep, Jordan. Sinks it from distance. Jordan's got nine. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. And he hits the first of three. And the second free throw is good. And he nails the third. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. From deep, Jordan. That one no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. Here's McGrady. Give him eight points now. Sends it home from three-point land. 11 points in the game. He's never going to pass up that shot. The defense giving him way too much room. Inside. Simmons. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. From deep. From the wing. And that one's good. Yeah, when you make your mid-range shots, you force your opponents to adjust. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. Pass to McGrady. 4-3. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Here's Bull. Down low. And the layup is good. And now an 11-point Cleveland lead. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Ooh, and a nice open look right there. Jordan's got 12 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Outside Hardaway. Pass to McGrady. He drops it from range. He's got 19. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. From deep, Jordan knocks down the long J. And what an impact he's making from beyond the arc. A big three-pointer to narrow this lead. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from, and they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Cleveland calls timeout. So both teams changing it up here. Now here's Hardaway. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And the shot goes. And Cleveland leads by 10. And 101 left in the third quarter. 
Jordan with it. 15 points in the game. Pass to Matumbo. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one misses. And he's good on the second. Now Hardaway. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter here. And he gets the jumper to drop. Ten points for him. Well, obviously nowadays a high percentage of Garnett's scoring comes off the jumper. Pass to Matumbo. On the break. Here's Garnett. The long distance three is buried. Opportunistic basketball. Gets a great look at the three in transition. From deep three-point range. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 12 now in this quarter. Talk about the range. I mean, he's got amazing feel from that distance. <laughs> Nails it from beyond the arc. He's in such a good rhythm offensively tonight. KG turning back the clock. And so it's Cleveland up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They just can't miss right now. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And here comes Cleveland. Pass to Simmons. Here's Matumbo. Yes. And that's Simmons with the assist. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Pass to McGrady. He buries it from three. 22 points for him. You know, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. From deep, Jordan. A tumble. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powered at home like that. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Tipped. Has to fall. Right wing. And he drives in. And a strong finish with two hands. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. Here's Jordan. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Cleveland? Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up with that confidence. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. And stolen by Simmons. And the free throw, no good. Here's Matumbo. Hardaway, no good. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Buries it from three. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. 
I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Second team. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. He saw the pass coming a mile away. Was perfectly positioned to intercept it. Terrific energy at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Knock loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. For three. Bowles grabs the board. If you want to cut into a lead, you have got to trust your teammates and move the ball. Pass to McGrady. Three-pointer. Gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. There's a screen. Here's Matumbo. It's stolen. And here comes Cleveland. Here's Bold. Pass to Matumbo. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. And Cleveland leads by 13. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. And here's Hardaway. Just five to shoot. Pass to McGrady. Drops in the three. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. So the road team gets the W in this one. A state. Thank you, fans, for coming out and supporting your team tonight.